Yes, we, we, we appeal to, to the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, which is the line ministry, to invoke the law on labor externalization, which, which entails that a company that is under investigations, a labor externalization company that is under investigations, the licenses or license must be revoked or at least suspended. Yes. Uh, they sent. I saw the picture. This, uh, the deceased were rescued from a very big sea. I would call it a sea. Because it's not that where someone can just go and swim, according to allegations, that they had gone to swim. This is a big sea where you expect anything, the predators, to, to have eaten those bodies. But they rescued them, which is amazing. But we need the government to, to do a very good investigation on this. Because as of me, according to my analysis, there is no way these, these boys would go and swim in such a lake. It's not even a lake, because a lake would be a small one. But this is a sea. In, in, Uganda, in Uganda, we call it uh, Agayanja. This is a very big sea where they could not survive. Their boys would not survive. So we pray to the government that let them do their own investigations. Let, if there is some good, I know there are some good uh, 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 investigators. Let them do their own investigations. We, as Make a Child Smile, with our partners in, uh, in US, uh, Freedom Now International, we are capable to do a very good uh, investigation. So we can help on that. Thank you. Apprehended, and they are with us for questioning. And uh, like I said before, if we identify that these people were trafficked, then ultimately we shall have to charge them in accordance with the law. Yes, please. When you get the information that these people have died and how much information have you received so far concerning their death? Or are still waiting until forever? No, we received this information, first of all, um, in different uh, times. Uh, we had earlier received this information like a week ago at CID headquarters and we gave it a reference. And we worked vigorously to ensure that these people are transported back. So we used our system, the Ministry of Labor. We also engaged the company until we were successfully, I mean, we were successful to bring these people here.
got information last weekend from uh, whistleblower, the family members, and uh, the bodies that waited for more than three months are now arriving after State House Anti-Corruption Union Unit intervening. So the reasons as to how and why they, they took this long will be explained by the company. We shall task the company to explain the reason as to why these bodies took that long to be repatriated.